Dream Chasing Boxing here. It's your boy Jeff, and I'm back with the quick post fight. So let's get into it. Kono versus Kameda. Pretty good fight. Very interesting. Um, this this was uh, for the WBA title in the super flyweight division. Um, Kameda's basically a rock star back in um, Japan. You know, basically everybody and their mama watches him. Kono's been a champ for a long time. Guy has eight losses, been through the ups and downs. And it was a good fight, man. It was a very good fight. Kono definitely came to win. Both guys came to win, and it was a very intriguing matchup. Um, they threw a lot of punches, you know, typical of, of the lightweight division. Um, wh who called it? Yeah, Kono actually went and got a knockdown in this fight. And he worked his ass off, man. Kono worked his ass off. I wasn't really scoring the fight myself necessarily. I was more just laying back, enjoying it. And just, you know, I was enjoying this fight, but there, were, there, there was a little issue I had with this fight, which I, I'm about to get into, man. I'm about to get into the one issue I had with this fight. And that was this motherfucking super ref, man. That was this motherfucking Lex Luthor of the fucking referee division, whatever the fuck you want to call him. This evil motherfucker right here, man. I don't know his fucking first name, last name Ruiz. This motherfucker had to go out of his way to fucking be super ref, man. This motherfucker was an arch villain of fucking referees right here, man. This dude in this fight deducted two points from Kameda for some bullshit ass low blows that I mean, goddamn, man. Um, Kono had his trunks a little high. No biggie. And um, the ones that he was calling low blows, I saw Kameda landing him on the belt line. Some straight a little low. But, you know, Super Rep over here had to, you know, let his fucking, you know, let his voice be heard. And he's sitting down, you know, taking away point, points, deducted two points. And he's, like, essentially trying to dominate and be, like, the, the voice or the huge voice in this fight. And he's basically giving all these fucking demands to guys that don't speak fucking English. So he's getting mad at these guys for like quote unquote not listening to him, but they don't fucking speak English. So of course, naturally, what do you do? You deduct fucking points when you're fucking super villain ref over here, man. So this was a really good fight, minus this motherfucker, man. We all know like good referees, you you don't even notice notice that they're there. This dude, we knew that he was fucking there the entire fight. I was kind of hoping something bad would happen to him. Like I, I was really hoping, like I don't know, just something fell from the sky and knocked this motherfucker out, man, because. He ruined his fight for me, and basically, I can't. Even, I couldn't even enjoy the fight, man. It was a good fight, but he kept fucking it up for me. And then he he did like this weird shit where he actually went, he went over to um, the fucking like to the officials and covered up his mic, and told him some shit about like stopping the fight. I don't know what it, what that was about. And then he came out and basically said that after the end of the I believe it was the fifth or some round, he basically said that. He's going to stop the fight if one more thing happened. And I don't, I don't know what the fuck this dude was on, dog. This dude was like, yeah, man, I get to be on TV, so I got to fucking make sure everybody knows how fucking crooked I am. That's what it seemed, seemed like to me. I would have understand, I, I would have at least understood it because, like, if some people had given me, like, some Al Heyman conspiracy, like, oh, man, he came in, you know, trying to cheat for who would have been, would have made more sense for Kameda, the huge star in Japan. I would have been like, oh, okay, I can at least, like, understand. But this motherfucker literally came and was like, you know, doing, you could have sworn he was in Kono's fucking pocket, man, which would, which wouldn't make sense, because Kono has eight losses, and I don't, I don't even think he was a favorite, but I don't know, I didn't really also check in for this fight, I didn't know about it, I don't know what the fuck's going on, this dude, like, I don't know, I don't know what the fuck his agenda was, I don't know what he was up to, I'm pretty sure if fucking Kameda was a favorite, he put a, a nice little sum of money on, on, you know, on fucking, um, Kono, that's for damn sure, but let me not take it away from Kono. He did work hard. He just had, you know, fucking Super Ref, you know, basically interjecting um, in this whole fight, making it harder for Kameda. And, you know, all in all, I think Kameda would have probably lost. It kind of sucks for him because he couldn't go back to the body because, you know, Super Villain Lex Luthor fucking Ref over here would have took points away and um, disqualified him. So, like I said, man, this evil villain motherfucker over here ruined this fight. Um, Kono got the win. I, I don't want to say it was well-deserved. It's, it's hard to say that with all the bullshit this Ref was doing. Kameda at one point he had a he, he dug into the body I believe it was a damn, I can't remember what round it was either the fourth round third round some shit like that he dug into the body and really hurt Kono man and naturally like a good ref that he is while he was continuing to dig to the body you know like I said some like one of the shots straight a little low nothing biggie but you know the ref obviously had to um stop the fight and you know um give um Kono some time to rest so I don't know don't I really do not know what was up with this referee man. I don't know at all. You guys let me know, you know, do you think it was an Al Heyman conspiracy? I know some of you guys out there like to blame Al Heyman for the fucking weather. But let me know what you guys think, man. Dream Chasing Boxing, I'm out of here, yo.